Well, Stephanie, as you know, Shumlin put divestment front and center in his State of the State address last week and again today in an op-ed, arguing it's time to sell holdings in coal and in ExxonMobil, too, which he said had been deceptive about his re its research into climate change. His push to, to divest, in fact, was one of his applause lines. We're running out of time. And the urgency for us to take every sensible action against climate change has never been greater. But it turns out Vermont has almost no coal investments to sell. And the oil and gas category, of which Exxon is a component, comprises less than 2% of Vermont's $3.6 billion pension fund. Today, the state treasurer said it's possible to sell that off or even screen out one company you don't like, but it's expensive to do, and she thinks a bad idea. Climate change is acute. It needs to be addressed, but I don't believe that divestment is the right solution for our portfolio. I think there's a substantial uh, loss uh, uh, when you start uh, divestment. Our estimate is that it would cost up to $9 million per year uh, uh, as well as uh, one-time uh, transaction and um, uh, startup costs. That's a lot of money for the uh, systems. Now, the pension fund provides income to about 49,000 public sector retirees. Pierce says the advisory board looked at oil divestment in 2013, 2014, and again in 2015, and voted unanimously against it every time. So, a public disagreement between the governor and the treasurer on this. By the way, slumping oil prices helped to push the markets down again today. The down fell almost 400 points.